Hello again everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm here in the middle of the night, a freezing cold night where I am, uh, uh, to do a reading on the news that has just broken about Prince Andrew being sued by Virginia Roberts. Now I've done a reading already on Prince Andrew and how he's feeling right now and how the case is going to go for him. Uh, do go and look at it. I've got the zombie tarot in that one, the rather grotesque and macabre deck, uh, but a very appropriate for that reading for Prince Andrew's energy. I'm doing a reading now on the situation from Virginia Roberts' point of view, and I'm using my little tarot nova deck, which I use quite often uh, in these world readings. I use them when I am looking at something involving a child. And uh, all those years ago, when the uh, issues in question were actually happening uh, with Virginia Roberts, allegedly, and Prince Andrew, and I have to say, allegedly, she was technically a child. And, of course, this is just a tarot reading. Uh, this is for entertainment purposes only, and this is just my opinion. So I'm going to be doing a very basic... Um, Celtic Cross, as I did for Prince Andrew, but this one I'm doing from Virginia Roberts' point of view to see what's going on with her, how she's feeling, what challenges she's facing, uh, any advice from the universe for her, uh, what pressure she is under, and really what the outcome of the case will be from her point of view. Yes, we can see them all, I think. Uh, a quick reading, not going to go into too much detail here. Um, and a uh, very interesting card that's come out at the bottom of the deck. I forgot to look because I was so cold with Prince Andrew. But what has come out? The Justice card. The Justice card has come out, followed by the Page of Wands, which is of course a child card and the devil, a toxic situation. So I'm going to leave this one out. Justice card, underlying energy, very interesting. We're dealing with legal proceedings and the cards are confirming that absolutely for us. So, what is the situation now, the energy around the situation from Virginia Roberts' point of view? And we get the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Now, the Eight of Swords, of course, in the reverse is somebody who has been released from a situation, liberated from a kind of prison. So Virginia Roberts is clearly feeling right now that she is free of something. She's finally, finally free. She's finally able to uh, do the thing that she's been wanting to do for a very long time. What is standing in her way? What is blocking her, obstructing her? And the Eight of Wands. Um, communication, a publicity, um, the idea that she hasn't been able to move forward as fast as she wanted to up until now. But because the card is in the upright, it's not really a blockage. I think up until now, the wheels of justice have turned very slowly for her. And this is a wheel that's showing up here. But now it has unblocked. And it is moving ahead rapidly. Um, and of course, uh, communications back and forth. She might have had difficulty with um, getting responses to communication requests for information, documents, that kind of thing. But it's going full steam ahead now. So two eights. And two eights are cards of movement. We've got the eight of swords and the eight of wands here. And the, the eights, of course, follow the sevens very obviously, but in the sevens in tarot are cards of pauses and contemplation. And the eight then move things forward after that moment of pausing. So movement for Virginia Roberts, rapid movement, uh, quite shocking movement that this has gone out uh, on the wires, it's, it's in the press, it's newspaper headlines all around the world right now. It's out there. The, the, she's, she's free, she's out, and the news is out. So underlying energy, what, what is at the root of all of this? 
the Queen of Wands. And this is absolutely fascinating to me because if you have seen my reading on Prince Andrew, uh, this is the card that came out as the focus of uh, Prince Andrew currently, but it came out in the reverse. It came out up here in this position in the reverse. Uh, do go and see the reading if you haven't uh, watched it already. The Queen of Wands, um, obviously, is a very sexual energy, a very sexual card, um, a very um, provocative and enticing female energy, um, a very uh, confident, uh, very sexy. Um, need I say more? I'm not going to say more. Uh, we get the picture cards are telling us and the card is very uh, very clearly linking this reading with the Prince Andrew reading that I have just done. So we're on target with this reading. The cards are confirming that for me now. What is her focus right now? What is her mind on? Knight of Cups. And that's very interesting to me because it's, it's, it's giving me um, almost an apology energy. Now, Prince Andrew is, of course, a water sign, so this is water sign. And the Knight of Cups normally is um, your, uh, your bow, shall we say, use an old-fashioned word. Somebody who's wooing you, romancing you, uh, maybe not in, a, in a, 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 not in the most direct way, maybe in a slightly wishy-washy, slightly manipulative way even. But I'm getting the idea here that she was actually quite emotionally involved with him. And this is a tarot reading. This is just my opinion. And I have to say that there is no confirmation that they were involved in any shape or form. This is all allegedly. She's emotional about this. She's emotional about him. She's emotional about what's going on. Um, very much, much more so than I would have thought. Um, it's upright as well, uh, which is even more um, surprising in that position. So, what's happened in her recent past that's led to this? Seven of Wands, she's felt under attack and had to defend herself. There's the poor cat, somebody's throwing sticks at the cat, and the cat's feeling it, this, the, 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 those blows are landing. Um, she's, she's battered and bruised. She's, she's been through it. She's been through the ringer in the press. She, you know, uh, people have said all kinds of things about her. There have been documentaries about her. Uh, people have come out and said things. Friends of Prince Andrew have come out and said things about her, uh, made all kinds of claims about her. She's felt it. She's felt every single blow. Um, she's felt that she's really had to work hard to defend herself. It is in the upright, so she feels that she succeeded in defending herself. And now she is free to go on the offensive as opposed to being stuck and as opposed to having to defend herself she is now going on the offensive to get her justice her day in court that she's been waiting for for a long time so what is going to be coming up next for virginia roberts king of wands um somebody uh very powerful going to be helping her uh very uh she's going to be very high profile whatever's going on is going to be very very high profile with this king of wands it's a publicity card it's um somebody who's very powerful very charismatic very dynamic uh very positive influence very courageous influence she's got someone in her corner who is going to be helping her through this she's obviously lawyered up with somebody who's probably one of those quite high profile celebrity lawyers that handles cases like this and thrives on handling cases like this. So she's gone from feeling vulnerable in the Seven of Wands to now she's got a powerful ally on her side who's going to be helping her. And that could even just be the media in some sense that the media is going to be um, really um, on her side in this. We'll have to see how it goes. This is what the cards are telling us right now. Advice for her from the universe. What does the universe have to say about this? And I get the five of wands, how interesting, in the reverse. Five of wands, of course, is the conflict card, fighting. Um, in fighting, fighting with people that you know, fighting with your friends, struggling. And the universe is telling her, really, let go. Let go of it. Give up. And 
I don't like to say that as a woman. Um, as I said in a reading that I did uh, yesterday, it was Women's Day in South Africa. Um, yesterday, I live in a country where we have shockingly high levels of uh, violence against uh, women, gender violence, gender-based violence, um, domestic violence, rape, sex crimes. But the universe is saying to her, you need to let go of this battle at some point. Interesting. Something to think about. Something for all of us to think about in battles that we're involved in that have dragged on and on and on. Ultimately, is it really worth it in the end? Who knows? That's for each of us to decide on our own. What pressure is she under? What's what's coming at her from, from outside right now? And another five, five of pentacles, five of pentacles in the reverse. It's amazing how these cards are pairing up. Five of pentacles is, of course, feeling that you don't have resources, that you... Um, have been left out in the cold, cast out, scapegoated. It's in the reverse though. So she's feeling that if she didn't have, a, have the resources in the past and had been left out in the cold in the past, this situation is now turning around for her. She may now have uh, funding um, to keep her afloat while she's going through this process. And she's feeling like she's, she is being welcomed back into circles that she was cut out of, even if that is... Um, in the public's mind, the public has in some way kind of condemned her and sentenced her. She's feeling like she is being let back in now, back the seal of approval um, on her. So it's not negative. Interesting that the cards um, that could be negative are not. Um, this is the obstacle card, the Eight of Wands, but it's actually a very positive card. And if she's under pressure, it's uh, positive uh, the situation is turning around for her and, and is um, coming into a more positive energy for her so what are her hopes in this situation what are her fears as she goes forward king of cups again um, hopes the king of cups this is the prince andrew card and uh, correct me if i'm wrong but i think this this yes it did it came up in the previous reading in the Prince Andrew uh, perspective reading that I did, it came up in this position. The advice from universe, it's matching again. We're getting matching cards. We've got the Queen of Wands that's matched and now the King of Cups that's matched. They were a couple. Dare I say it? My opinion only, allegedly, they were a couple. And I'm getting the idea from this reading that she's doing this because she wants to be acknowledged by him. She wants her relationship with him, alleged relationship with him, to be acknowledged. You can see all this fire here, the wands, the wands, 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 wands. Um, the different color here, that's her energy, her very fiery um, energy. She must have a lot of fire in her chart, or she is in a very... Um, combative mood at the moment. Obviously, she's just started to uh, legal proceedings against someone. But this is his energy. Knight of Cups, King of Cups, a water sign. Very interesting how the cards are showing quite graphically. There, there is an emotional connection between them uh, that she is feeling. He's not feeling it. She is feeling it. What is the outcome? going to be for her current timeline current energies currently what's going to happen she's going to get money she's going to get some form of compensation knight of pentacles um good stable outcome for her she's not going to be humiliated she's not going to be defeated um she's going to get something not massive it's not a huge amount um it's not the ace of pentacles but it's not, it's not negligible either. It's not the page of pentacles. So she's going to succeed in this case. I saw in the Prince Andrew reading, the Hierophant came out as the outcome. And I, I struggled to interpret that card. I had to take clarifiers on it and got that Prince Andrew would be feeling some pain um, and some humiliation from, from the process. She is going to win according to this reading. It's very clear here from her side. 
um, she is going to win. And in that case, the Hierophant in Prince Andrew's reading is, as I, as I speculated, the lesson that Prince Andrew is learning about having to be in integrity, having to take the high road, having to be in, in alignment with your higher self. I didn't express it as clearly as that in that reading, but it's coming through now. Uh, so, very interesting. Universe is advising her to let go of the struggle. Um, let go, I suppose, of the desire for vengeance. It's never a good thing. You can seek justice if you want to, and never a bad thing. But don't carry this in your heart forever. Don't be, uh, let your life be poisoned by this, this energy in future. A good outcome for her. As I, as I said, I could, see, I could see it turning here with this card, this Five of Pentacles. That's in the reverse. Fortune is turning in her favour here. This wheel is turning in her favour. She's going to get a payout. She's going to get compensation. She's going to get something for her troubles in the end. Interesting readings. I hope you've enjoyed this one. And I hope you have enjoyed the one on Prince Andrew as well. If enjoyed can is, is the appropriate word. Um, I'm going to leave it here. And I'm going to try and warm up now. Uh, in this bitterly cold night. And I will see you on the next reading.